There's just over a month left to go until Android Q is finalised, and we're quickly hitting the home stretch of the Q Beta program. So here's Android Q Beta 5, which Google describes as a near final release candidate level build. A couple big important changes in this one, so let's dive right into what's new. The big thing Google's still in the process of straightening out in Beta 5 is Android Q's new gesture navigation system, which we first saw a couple months back. The basic physics are more or less identical to Beta 4, but when you first power on this new build, you'll see these little corner icons down here. Why are these here? Well, this is your new way to activate the Google Assistant, replacing long press of the home key. Swipe inwards from the corner to fire it up, and you'll see this new little animation. I'm not entirely sold on this new setup as it exists right now, not least because on any modern Pixel phone you can just use the squeeze gesture on the side bezels to do exactly the same thing, plus it's kind of obnoxious to see these corner frames every single time you power on the phone. The whole thing just doesn't look great right now. And while I'm moaning about the way things look, apps with a black navigation bar down below continue to look, well, just weird with these half-rounded corners here. At this point, it's worth confirming that a few of the previously leaked features expected in this fifth beta build haven't actually materialised in the public release. That includes sensitivity controls with a contentious new back gesture, which hopefully is coming in beta 6, because right now using the back gesture in an app with a slider menu is still a major pain point. Google's update to the hamburger menu behaviour allows you to peek and then slide, but the implementation in the current build is kind of a mess. It's often impossible to predict which one will trigger, and often the new peaking mechanic will just break until you restart the app. What's more, Google says the new gestures won't work with third-party launchers until it addresses this issue with a post-launch update. The new change will kick in from next month's Q Beta 6, Google says, so if you're using Nova or Action Launcher or Launch Air, then it's back to the old three-button setup for you, at least until some point after Q is publicly released. The new gesture setup here is going to be an option on just about every Android phone when Q arrives, so here's hoping Google can use the final month of development to tune things up a bit. It isn't just new gesture stuff in the latest build though, Q Beta 5 changes the default screen with a black background that's easier on the eyes. Meanwhile in the notification shade, silent notifications are grouped together for easier visibility of stuff you might not have heard with a notification alert, and snoozing is now a top level option for notifications, meaning if this feature is something that you just never use, then you can turn it off and never have to worry about it triggering accidentally. There's still one final beta build to come before Android Q is finalised, likely later in August, and then the floodgates can open for other devices to start receiving the new version. Stick with us for continuing Q coverage and subscribe so you don't miss all our future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.